Okay, so I have almost every armor set, every sword, every ring, you name it. I do this in every Souls-like game I play, and I never end up using the item. So I'm gonna make another build. Mostly because I just drunk an energy drink and I'm bored, so... Yeah, those are my issues. Let's get into it. I'm gonna call this one the Berserk build for obvious reasons. And trust me, I try to find an armor set that look more like Guts' armor, and there is none. So that's made me sad for a couple hours. But either way, let's get into it. Now, the Ravenger Gregory Sword is plus 10, A plus in strength and radiance. And let me tell you, this thing hits like a truck. Now, the Sword's attack power started off at level 250, but now at plus 10, it's over 1,000. However, even though I got the plus 10, I couldn't help but wonder, how much stronger could I make this sword? So like any American who wants to kill everything in one shot, I use ruins. My first ruin increases damage to the enemy's poise, the second one ignores weight and stats requirements on the slotted item, which item being the big sword. Which by the way, if this armor and the sword is too heavy for you, helps a whole lot with the weight. And obviously stat requirements. The third ruin increases my physical damage, and I was wondering if I should take off the other ruins and possibly just add on another physical damage ruin just to try to increase my damage more, but I decided not to. Mostly because I was already two shot and one shot enemies, so why bother? For range, we're using the Trapper's Crossbow plus 9. This weapon scales with strength and it's one of the harder hitting range weapons in the game. Now you can find this weapon from the Trapper enemy, apparently it can be dropped from that enemy, and from the Humpback Merchant after you talk to him at Skycrest Bridge. Now for the best part, the armor. The Ravager set excels at both physical and magical defense, making it very versatile in combat. Now I can get this armor set from Skycrest Bridge from Mazakar Dunmeyer. However, Dunmeyer will only give it to you once you give him Ravager Gregory's Rosary. Now to find the Rosary, you have to go to Lord Kalrath, and you can start at the Vestige of Lindia, the Numb Witch. Just be as clear as possible, because I know direction can get confusing, it's going to be here sitting on this dead guy's body. The only way you really miss this is if you don't look around Karaf. Just look around, you'll be able to find it pretty easily. Now there may be other items you may have to give Dunmire before he gives you the armor set, but if you're picking the items up regularly, it shouldn't be a problem for you. Now the next item is the Warrior's Claw, which increases physical damage and physical defense. And it should increase both by at least 10%. Now you can find this item in Pilgrim's Perch using a Pilgrim's Perch key. So once you do get that key, don't forget about those doors that you haven't unlocked yet in Pilgrim's Perch. Because if you do, you will miss this item. Now for this build, we're going to be using two minus rings because we want as many swings as possible. This is what my stamina bar looks like with one ring. And when you add a second one, this is what it looks like with a second ring. And here they are side by side. Just in case you had any doubts, yes, two standard rings do boost your stamina even more than one does. Now the last main item on this list is going to be the Umbra Eye of Losh. Now the main socket effect is while charging a heavy attack, all damage is received as weird damage and your posture cannot be broken. This ability by itself is super useful because basically while you're charging a heavy attack, nothing can stop you from charging it and setting it off. Now here's where you find it. Feel free to pause the video to read this. But basically you start at the Vestures of Theater, head down the path past two large hills until you reach a building entrance, open to the Umbral, and so play the Umbral Belly on the statue on the left of the entrance to receive the Umbral Eye of Losh. And just because I know most of you guys are still confused, this is what that looks like. Alright, whoo shit, and this is where you find it. Unless you haven't been paying attention, there should be no questions. Also, since that was the last item, it's time to test this build, and you know what that means. It's time for a boss fight. Now, the skin stealer is nowhere near the strongest boss in the game, but he does make a great test dummy. Let's see, one, two, All right, that's two, three, come on, come on, four, ah, oh, come on, come on, heal, come on, one more, one more, five, all right, we're gonna, six. 
All right, there you have it. Only six hits and two of them were charge hits. Now, I don't know about you, but I say that's pretty impressive. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and also let me know if you have any questions. You guys have a great day. Peace.